Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, I am Dave Hayes um, and I'm going to go over Lineage OS for the Nexus 6P. Um, the Nexus 6P is one of the very uh, first of the devices that Lineage OS um, decided that they were going to support. Uh, they are supporting quite a big list right now. Actually Shamu was just added to the list. Uh, so there are downloads for Shamu right now. Uh, there weren't any last night so they were just added in this morning. Um, <laughs> if I'd have known that, I might have done the uh, video on that, uh, so that the sound or the audio quality would have been a little better. Um, my mic still hasn't come in uh, for my 6P, and I don't think it's coming, to be honest with you. Uh, it was coming from China to begin with, um, and you know that's a rocky ordeal when you order anything from China at this point in time. Alright, um, a couple things really... I wanted to go over real, real quick. They, uh, they actually have two different builds. Um, if you go to the uh, website and you, uh, if you go to their, line, their Lineage OS homepage, which is right here, uh, and if you click on the very first, um, the very first post, uh, it goes through and tells you about the updates and build prep uh, and all that, um, and uh, it goes through the, you know, your down, their download portals and stuff like that and stuff on Wiki. Uh, you scroll down and it actually tells you about how they wanted your what they were planning on for you to uh, install this on your device um, they have two builds out uh, one is an experimental or their migration build and then they have the weekly build which they actually changed that that name now is to they changed it to nightly so now they have uh, apparently a nightly build uh, still I would expect that nightly build to be more on a weekly schedule than a nightly uh, depending on how many people they can they can pull in on their staff and you know how many device devices they start adding stuff like that um, but anyways if you read on their experimental builds uh, I actually had a video out um, showing how to uh, how to install it and it did work uh, I will give them that uh, the problem is whenever you try to go from the uh, experimental to the uh, the full-blown nightly uh, it force encrypted me and it did it bad. I had to actually go all the way back to stock. Um, I had to flash, uh, you know, ADB flash uh, stock back on it. Um, then I had to, uh, you know, um, uh, unencrypt myself and, you know, all that crap and go back up to where I wanted to be. I, I don't recommend using the experimental mode. Uh, yes, it works. You can go there. You can get a taste of what Synergy Mod is all about um, and keep your data. But you know when I flash anyways I always do a clean flash it, it just makes the ROM run better anyways and I just I, I don't like it and it, if you look at this they're saying they're only gonna leave this up for a couple months anyways because it's highly experimental guys forget the experimental build go straight to the weekly and I'm gonna tell you right now how to do this download the weekly download your gaps um, use flash kernel or any kernel that does uh, not uh, force encrypt and use the FED patch. Flash the ROM after you do a good solid wipe. That means when you wipe, you wipe data, system, and both cache. Install the ROM, install the FED patch, flash your gaps. I would flash the FED patch again, then flash the kernel. And I might even flash FED patch again. <laughs> and then boot. And that's gonna give you your, your that's gonna give you your uh, your ROM. And if you guys are running on the Nexus 6P, uh, you also need to have your um, your vendor image as well, okay? So um, I would probably flash the vendor image before I did anything, before I did any wipes, before I did you boot into uh, recovery, flash that vendor image, reboot back into recovery, and then go through your wipes, install the ROM, install your uh, FED patch, install the gaps, uh, you know, and then I'd flash that FED patch again and then install the, uh, the kernel, then maybe even do the patch again. All right, on to the ROM, guys. Uh, this is Lineage OS, um, and it is for the Nexus 6P Android version 7.1.1. Um, it does have the January uh, 5th uh, security patches. February is coming, so we are going to get those updates on the patches, too. And Synergy Mod is very good at updating their uh, security. Um, the kernel I'm running is Flash Kernel. I think it's uh, at least the best that I've known for this device as far as force encryption goes. And yes, guys, I know Elemental Axe um, and a couple of the other ones out there are awesome kernels. I do run them, um, but I just feel much safer when I run Flash Kernel. 
uh, as far as uh, force encryption goes. Uh, I know that when I run this, I know it's not going to force encrypt. Uh, as long as it, I do my, end, my part on my end, it, I'm not going to get encrypted. Um, and for those of you that think that my videos go long, uh, guys, it is what it is. They go long because I like to give you guys all the information that you need. Uh, I don't want to leave anything out and then something happens to your phone and you say, Ugh, you, know, you gave me the wrong information. Um, that's why my videos are so long. I like to give as much as I can uh, as far as information goes. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in the features because there aren't really any features. Uh, these are your display settings. Uh, everything is pretty much standard. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, you do have your font size uh, and, of course, your uh, display size. You guys can do uh, play with that however you want. I'm running everything as uh, default right now. Uh, and, of course, you have VR mode all the way at the bottom of that. Uh, underneath your sound settings, uh, they, what's really good about this ROM, they do have that link where you can uh, connect or disconnect. Uh, have your, um, your volume and your notifications as far as ringtones and uh, notifications notifications connected God. <laughs> or have them you know separate I like them separate uh, a lot of ROMs out right now don't have that feature I like that feature uh, everything else is pretty much what we're used to these are your other sound settings and uh, cast all the way at the bottom um, we'll go ahead and hit security real quick uh, these are your security settings uh, notice under encryption, uh, mine says encrypt phone. That means I am not encrypted. If I was encrypted, which I was, <laughs> uh, it would say encrypted right there. Um, I was surprised, though, when I first booted up, it was asking me for a password, and I said, what? <laughs> and I put in a password I used a while ago, a, a PIN, uh, when I was testing on my fingerprint reader, and it worked. So I, at least I could access my data. Thank God for that. Um, but... Yeah, I don't go. I don't go encrypted. Um, I had to wipe everything and get get out of that. So, guys, I don't recommend using that migration. Just bite the bullet, wipe your data, you know, and and you know, and install this the way it was meant to be installed. A clean flash is the way to go. Dirty flashes, you end up with issues, man. It, it, especially if you're going from thirteen a CM thirteen all the way up to a lineage. You're talking about two completely different operating systems. You're going to have conflicts. So just wipe, guys, all right? Um, that's pretty much it for the security settings. Make sure you have those unknown sources ticked on. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, developer options. By the way, developer options don't come on right away uh, or by default. You do have to find your build number under the uh, phone uh, or about phone. You want to tap it seven times, uh, and it will open up the uh, developer options for you. So underneath there, uh, you do have your take bug report, uh, you have development tools. Uh, for those of you that know what this is, um, like myself, it, it's a nice tool to have. I'm glad that they have it and they included it in there. Um, pretty much standard. Uh, I will go over root real quick. Uh, the device does not come rooted. Um, they've stated that they are done with rooting uh, Cynogen Mod. Uh, if you want it, or I'm sorry, Lineage, if you want it rooted, you have to download uh, either their proprietary uh, super user, which I'll get into here quickly. I'm going to spend some time on talking about something again. Um, or you can download super users, chain fire super user, which is what I did. I'm running, um, I'm running SR2 uh, version 2.79. That's what I'm running on here. But if you're one of those people that need to have that safety net pass, if you're running a Pokemon or if you're bank's um, app that you're using, your banking app, uh, requires that you don't have a rooted device, so you have to pass that safety net, you can get around this. Um, you, if you use their, uh, their super user, install it. I'm going to put a link in the description where you guys can go to an XDA thread uh, for another app. This app is called ISU, and it's, it's like this, little i, capital S, capital U. What this app does is it's basically a switch, just like Magisk, where you can switch root on, switch root off. And yes, it works. Yes, it passes safety net. So that is an awesome, uh, an awesome idea in itself. Uh, kudos on developers for that. Uh, they did an awesome job, even though it's something I don't need. I don't care. Um, I already know that I'm rooted, and you know I'm not worried about stuff like that. Uh, but for those of you that are... Uh, that is an option for you. 
Uh, they do include the uh, local terminal on here. Again, guys, if you know what a local terminal is, that's another option I love to see in a ROM. Um, even though, yes, you can download them from the Play Store uh, easy enough. Uh, your Android debugging is right here. Make sure that you have that turned on. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, underneath drawing, they do what another thing they have, which I like, are the actual presets where you can pick as opposed to the sliding scale. Um, I don't like that sliding scale. It's very hard for me to get uh, to the point that I want, which is uh, 0.05. Um, and then, of course, all the way at the bottom, they have that kill app back button. All right. Uh, this is the second time I did this video, uh, this video, and I think I got everything on it uh, this time. Um, Lineage OS. Uh, basically, Lineage OS is a, um, uh, a metamorph uh, metamorphosis from Cyanogen Mod. Uh, yes, Cyanogen Mod is a dead entity. They are no more. Uh, I'm not going to get into the reasons why, but you know, they were one of my, not the, but one of my most favorite ROMs out. Um, they had a lot of options to them. One of those options, CMTE. And yes, they are going to be putting CMTE back in here. Now, I don't know if they're going to call it that, uh, but they are incorporating that in right now as we speak. If you go to their Garrett, uh, their Garrett site, you'll see the work that's going on. Uh, and they actually have made a lot of uh, improvements. Um, and it's, it's just going like a train. So look for it to be uh, in here. Um, if, you guys are, uh, if you guys are Substratum fans, or you know, if you if you just have to have a ROM with a theme, this is not the ROM for you. Uh, Substratum does not work on here. Believe me, I know. I've tried. <laughs> I've even, I even downloaded the old uh, Layers Manager and tried to get it uh, to work with some of the old Layers themes, and it just doesn't. Uh, now I didn't get any issues on you know with it uh, screwing up my reboot system um, and getting on a uh, you know a, a boot loop, but uh, it did not. It didn't uh, theme anything. It, it just didn't work. So. All right, guys, I've kept you long enough. Uh, this is Lineage OS. Uh, this is for the Nexus 6P. Uh, they've got a lot of devices out there that, they're, that they are uh, supporting right now, including uh, Shamu. It is on the list right now, so if you guys like it, go get it. Um, and remember that FED patch, guys, and a good, good custom kernel that doesn't force encrypt. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Keep the comments coming. Uh, I do try to uh, uh, to answer every single one of them. Uh, my life's been getting kind of flustered lately, but I, I do still like to try to answer your uh, your requests. Uh, so uh, thank you guys, um, and I will see you all on the next one.